I'm Pam Ponsier from All Hands Art, and today I'm going to show you how we're actually sticking tiles on this wall. If you miss them, there's another video about how to break up tiles for a mosaic mural. There's a video about how to mix up thin set mortar, which is what I have here that I'm going to use to stick it with. And now I'm going to use the thin set and the broken tiles to keep filling in this mosaic. Obviously we started a while ago and I'm, I'm just continuing to add to it, but um, there are, we want to keep the spacing about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch in between and around the tiles. At the very end when we finish putting all the tile, we're going to be grouting it and we need a place for the grout to, to settle into that will hold our mural in place and make it strong and also kind of frame it like a piece of artwork. So the, the way we tile along is just, I'm, I have a box of randomly broken tiles and the colors I need in this section and I'm just gonna find a place that, where it fits. That's a pretty good fit right there. It leaves just a little bit of space all around and it fills that space nicely. I always tell kids I'm working with, spread it on about like cream cheese and about as thickly as cream cheese covering the whole back. Stick the piece in place and push. And I always like to see a little bit of the thin set squish out. That way I know I got enough. If nothing is squishing out, there might not be enough to hold it. Sometimes they pop off. So then in this section, um, we'll show you in, a, in some still pictures the design, but this is a dark night scene and I have a variety of tiles. So in this case, I'm also looking to sort of intersperse different colors, different blues and grays. And um, so I want the color spacing to be a little bit random, but that's particular to this design. So I'm spreading it on wiping away the excess if there's too much extra and just continuing to find places that's a nice fit places that fill the space but leave a little room for grouting at the end